Sawadika, and welcome to Southern Thailand's Paradise Island destination, Krabi. It's time to get out of the bustling cities and towns to relax and unwind on some of the country's best beaches. We spent seven days exploring Krabi province in Southern Thailand and were amazed at the scenery here. Join us as we take you through some of the best places to visit in and around Krabi. We'll cover the many islands, nature trails, beaches, boat trips and adventure activities, plus some lesser known attractions. Join us for the ride and get your notepad ready. These places are not to be missed. One, if not the most popular place to visit in Krabi is Rayleigh. It's one of the country's most iconic beach destinations and is only accessible by boat. It takes around 10 minutes to get there on a long tail boat from Ao Nang Tang. At Rayleigh, you'll get to enjoy the stunning Phra Nang Beach, where you can swim in its crystal blue waters and admire the magnificent limestone cliffs surrounding you. There's also Phra Nang Cave, a shrine that's meant to bring good fertility and fortune. Rayleigh is also one of the best places in Thailand for rock climbing, so if you're up for an adventure, be sure to book onto a tour. You'll find easy rock faces for beginners, but also more challenging climbing routes and even overhangs. After a spot of sunbathing, you can walk the challenging trail to Rayleigh viewpoint or take an easier walk to Diamond Cave. This cave is truly magical and is only a short walk away from the main entrance of the beach. Get up close to the stalagmites and stalagsites and if you're lucky, you'll see some bats hanging from up above. As with most attractions in Krabi, we suggest taking the first long tail boat that leaves from Ao Nang at 8am, so you can be one of the first to arrive. Most people arrive around 10am, so you'll have a few hours to enjoy its true beauty before the boats get in. Another place to add to your list is Hong Island. We opted for a multi-island hopping tour with Sea Eagle Speedboat Tours. It's a great way to not only see Hong Island, but other smaller islands along the way. The first stop on the tour is the small but picturesque island of Pak Beer. It features a shallow cove where you can swim or snorkel, a beach with a swing and some beautiful coastal scenery. The next island on the tour is Koh La Ding. Voted as one of the most beautiful beaches in the whole world, Koh La Ding is a tiny cove with a series of caves and giant palm trees. It's also a popular spot to snorkel, though we didn't see many fish during our visit. The final stop is Hong Island and Hong Island Lagoon. It's the main island to visit in Thanbok Karini National Park and is also the largest. During low tide, the lagoon is a great place to swim and cool down from the hot sun. The sea here is a vibrant shade of turquoise, unlike any of the other islands you visit in Krabi. On Hong Island itself, you'll find a long sandy beach, a nature trail and a steep climb to the island viewpoint. Hong Island is one of the least visited islands in Krabi and is large enough to never feel too overcrowded. You can either visit on a long tail boat directly or as part of a tour like we did.
Fancy visiting somewhere a little different during your time in Krabi? Go on a kayaking adventure through the mangroves and limestone cliffs of Althay Lane. This small fishing village is built on the mouth of Naisa River, just a short drive from Aonang in Krabi Town. Undoubtedly, the best way to explore this area is by kayak. This fun adventure activity is great for all levels of kayaking experience, and it attracts far less tourists than the islands and beaches. We did a tour with Sea Kayak Krabi and highly recommend them. You can also rent a kayak yourself and explore the area freely, but we suggest going on a tour as it's easy to get lost. Another must see island is Koh Poda. Taking only 20 minutes to get there by long tail boat from Ao Nang, it's a great place to spend the day. This remote island feels like a paradise if you arrive before the crowds. As the island is so large, there are plenty of beach areas to explore and you'll easily be able to find a spot away from tourists. It feels much like a desert island with tall palm trees, powdery white sand and warm shallow waters that stretch out for 200 meters in low tide. Hop on the first long tail boat that departs from Ao Nang at 9am so you can be one of the first people on the island. Our favourite day trip during our stay in Krabi was visiting the untouched island of Koh Talabeng, an island just off the coast of Koh Lantanoi. This tiny island is a hidden gem that not many tourists know about, so we're letting you in on our little secret. The tour starts with a trip to an island known as Skull Island, which is named as such due to its cool cave scenery and skull-like shape. The stop here involves some light rock climbing and epic viewpoints. The cave was once inhabited by Japanese soldiers during World War II. The best part of the tour is visiting Koh Talabeng itself. You'll get to kayak around this untouched island for an hour and a half, listening to the sounds of wild birds and the ocean. Get close to nature and see some of the island's monkeys, monitor lizards and even eagles flying in the Koh Talabeng skies. We went with a company called Koh Talabeng Sea Kayaking and cannot recommend them enough. Located in the south of Krabi province, Koh Lanta is an island that is separated from the mainland. It's a go-to place for those that want a laid-back atmosphere, lots of resort time and countless idyllic beaches. We absolutely loved our time in Koh Lanta and can see why it's quickly becoming one of Thailand's most popular islands. We recommend visiting Koh Lanta for at least a few days. Choose a nice beach resort and spend your days relaxing, eating nice Thai food and checking out a laid-back live music bar on an evening. There isn't a great deal to do in Koh Lanta, but that's the beauty of it. The bars and restaurants on the seafront have some of the best sunsets you'll see in Thailand.
When visiting Krabi, there's a good chance you're staying in Ao Nang. It's a good base to explore all of the islands and mainland attractions. It's also jam-packed with hotel options for every budget, many restaurants, shops and a good nightlife scene. Whilst in Ao Nang, be sure to visit the beach. Whilst it's not the most beautiful of beaches, as it's where the long-tailed boats dock up, it's still a nice place to check out whilst in town. We enjoyed walking down the promenade on an evening with a street store drink. When the sun goes down, head over to Ao Nang Night Market for a vibrant atmosphere and plenty of street food stores. Ao Nang is also the place to visit in Krabi if you're looking for good nightlife. If you want to find a nice Thai restaurant in amongst Ao Nang's many tourist restaurants, check out a restaurant called Thanya. We absolutely love this place. We'll add a link in the description below. The final recommendation on our list is somewhere that needs no introduction. Koh Phi Phi has long been a spectacular island destination in Thailand. Its beaches regularly appear on lists of the best beaches in the world. Is it as beautiful as they say? It certainly is. However, it can also get very crowded with tourists, which take away from the beauty a little bit. Nevertheless, Koh Phi Phi is one of the best places to visit in Thailand for anyone. Any trip here is memorable and the island scenery you'll see is some of Krabi's finest. Thanks for watching our video guide on some of the best places to visit in Krabi. We hope we inspired you with beach, boat trip and activity ideas and you can now explore them all yourself. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel guides.